Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. On our last videos, I've shown you how to set up your Android environment and create either a virtual device or set up your real device. So I've got my virtual device running here, and there's my app that we created previously. It was just the basic uh, app that we created um, through file new Android project. Well, instead of creating a, an app that way, we're going to use uh, the PhoneGap framework uh, so that we can quickly create an HTML5 based app. So the first thing you need to do is get the PhoneGap framework, which is found over at PhoneGap.com. And I've mentioned this on a previous video, but but very quickly, you want to select Install PhoneGap. And for our purposes, we're going to choose to download PhoneGap 2.9.0 in the archives. Once that's been downloaded and unzipped, you want to unzip it somewhere on your system. And you'll have a PhoneGap 2.9 folder. Inside that folder, you'll see uh, various documentation and such, but our our folder that we care about is inside this lib folder, libraries. And here basically are all of the templates that we can use to create our apps in every uh, platform, basically. So we're going to focus on Android, and inside we've got an example app. So we're going to open this example app inside of uh, Android, and then uh, take it from there. So we'll go back to Eclipse, our editing environment. We might already have some apps there, just ignore them. We'll go to File, New, Project. What type of project? Well, an Android project, and we want Android project from existing code. So select Android project from existing code and Next. And then very important, make sure you select Copy Project into Workspace. You see that checkbox in the middle. Copy project into workspace. If you do not do this, this is going to change your original template file. And obviously that's not good because when you start another project later, your original template will be altered. So make sure you copy into workspace. Your workspace is defined when you first run Eclipse for the first time. Root directory. Click Browse. And find your phone gap folder, wherever you put yours. I've got mine buried in folders within folders, but hopefully you put yours in an easier location. There's my PhoneGap 2.90, so open that folder. Open the lib folder. Open the Android folder. And then select example folder. So make sure you've selected the example folder in the Android folder. Click OK. It's going to check it. You shouldn't see any errors. Click Finish. It's going to process things. You might get a warning at the bottom, unable to resolve target Google API, perhaps. What this is saying is that the version of our example that we just loaded perhaps was set up with a previous version of, of the Android tools. So let me show you how to fix that. Simply select your example project. This is what we got out of PhoneGap. Right click. At the bottom you will see properties. Select properties. And then on the left column select Android. So we were getting a, a warning down here that we had the wrong version of the Android code selected perhaps. See that? It thinks we have Google API 17, but actually, depending on what you've downloaded, mine is API 19. So make sure you select your current version. At the bottom right, click Apply. And then OK. And one more thing, we'll select Project. Clean. And select clean all projects. You probably only have one project in your workspace, maybe two, but it should automatically check the one that needs cleaning. So click OK. And basically now it updated the example project from version 17 to mine, which is currently version 19. 
You'll still have the red warnings here, but you can just ignore those. Uh, they've been fixed. You can also click Clear Console down on your console area to start fresh. So we've uh, set up our example project. What does it actually look like? Well, we'll need a new run configuration, so select your Run button and select Run Configurations. We'll create a new configuration so that we can actually test it. So you want to double-click Android application to create a new one. We'll call this Phone Gap. Under your project, of course, you'll select Browse and select the example project, the Phone Gap project. And then under Target, activate Always Prompt to Pick Device. Apply. Run. You should get the pop-up screen that asks you what would you like to do, how would you like to run this project. I've got one AVD running, so I'll select it and click OK. Switch over to my AVD. And here it is. Apache Cordova device is ready. My phone gap project, my phone gap template is ready for me to start using. Now, don't be confused because this is Apache Cordova and we had downloaded PhoneGap. Um, it has a couple of different names. You might see Cordova, you might see PhoneGap, you might even see DroidGap. They all mean the same thing, but this is going to be our template. It says device is ready, so now we can start coding. Now we can start coding an HTML5 project. And also, just to confirm, I'll go back home, go to my apps, and here we have example. I want to put it on my home screen. So in our next videos, we're going to explore exactly what we have here and then start coding in HTML5.